He will be heavily involved in high stakes cash games. But, you know, sometimes he comes out, plays probably one or two WSOP events and finds himself at a final table. He's that good. Spencer all in. That is Lewis Spencer, 24 year old from the UK, who might be a player to watch. Uh, last year at the main event, in one of his first events ever, he finished 20th in the main event, backs that up this year with another final table. So 24-year-old Lewis Bench doesn't have many chips to work with. Yeah, it's probably as good as it's going to get to find King 3 suited when you have three big blinds. <laughs> oh, that, okay, that, that one's nice. That's actually the most fun one. Because then there can be like the two pair turn runner as well, you know? Three on the turn. Yeah, like three on the turns, then it's just fresh. Well, they did not get that flop. King three. Nine, King eight, three. five. Oh. One spade out <laughs> they there. They still don't say anything. It's just like, okay, I'll internally root for this, you know? Six of spades. Oh, oh Spicy hey, turn card. Let him squeeze it. Just toss it. Definitely some more possibilities. You should always be able to squeeze your own man. I wish. We are. Crazy that you can. Good for TV, too, I would think. Yeah, but you sure. switch the cards in and out, then you complain that wasn't really the card. Eight of hearts, game, ace oh. high holds, and that is Dude. it. It was awesome for you. Lewis Spencer. It's like a lot Everyone. of fun, man. Look, we've got the yeah. dealer's choice, which will play down to a winner today. We have this event. We have the homecoming event, which I think 443,000 people have played in. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Uh, Shulman all in now for 1.13 million. He basically doubled up, by the way, with that all in last time without a call. If he wins this one, he'll be up to about 10 big blinds. Things start to get interesting. Yeah, it's the beginnings of a spin. But he's going to get called here and in great shape to double East Queen versus Ace King. Yeah. Sergio Ido, and this would put Ido, I believe, as our shortstop if he lost this. <laughs> Doesn't sound that good, but promising. Eight high flop, pots two and a half million. Ido looking for a queen. Outs are in the top left corner of your screen. Oh! oh! Queen of Hearts on the turn, and Shulman grabbing Yikes. his backpack. Good game, guys. Three of spades game, on the river, and uh, nice, Nick Shulman eliminated in sixth place in brutal fashion. I don't think against this sizing, especially with that additional equity to a wheel. Seaver does make the call. Oh, oh my wow! Oh, gosh. The <laughs> And by the way, everybody at home who's new to poker is sitting there going, this is why you don't slow play aces. <laughs> this is why you don't do it, okay? Guys, let's not be results at If you just moved all in pre-flop, none of this would have happened. Let's just take a step back, <laughs> take a breath. It's gonna be okay. Oh, this is this is the kind of hand that, I mean, Sergio Ido has been around the block. He's obviously not going to be there. But if you are an amateur, if you're a recreational player, this is the kind of hand that just, it gets seared into your brain for years, decades. It's dirty. It it's really so is. dirty. 4-3. I mean, how does Seaver have 4-3 here? And Ido with just under pop back. One million pop. Okay, I'm sorry. One million Apparently Seaver did check. So he did. Okay, so Seaver, we didn't know that. Obviously, our, our graphics were not up to date there. So Seaver did check. Ido going for value. Yeah, and I think that there is some contempl contemplation on Seaver's part about that as well. He's just, I mean, the way he's so intently staring Ido down actually now. Okay, he does go all in. Yeah. There's the all in from Seaver. a little interaction between Seaver and teacher. Sergio. Okay, clock has been called. Yeah, Sergio was 34 at the start of this hand. He's now 36. <laughs> Steve having fun with it, but at the same time, I think at this point, you've had enough time. And he does eventually find the fold. I owe you a glass of wine. Great uh, job by Sergio Ido. That is a extremely it. difficult spot. Events. Zolotau. Oh, it's going to raise here. Ido with sevens. We got to flip. See at this. A ver, lo desde ahí. See at this. Spaniard walking over to his rail. I will not come back if I lose. There's an ace. It's a bad start. Ace in the window. Aquí duele menos. Ido looking for a seven. Seven coming up. No me la he inventado random, pero no sé, creo que... Nine of hearts on the turn. 
Sergio Ido down to possibly his last card in this tournament. Espera, que no quiero que se vaya a perder. Pero no me importa. Como no importa, me gustó. Se nos sale el 7 busteo. Estoy yo. Soy, soy yo. Marquez on his rail as well. King of Spades on the river. And that is it for Sergio Ido. Oh, no. Eliminated in fifth place, he'll take home $72,233. Diamonds. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, From the small blind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zoltau's going to go with it. There we Not go. Much. Mm, it's a two to one favorite, but. I mean, Zoltau's always going to win this, right? <laughs> Can't lose. Well, Never the winner of the Las high. Vegas it's Glitter Gulch is all in. With like an ace. You know, a little something. Yeah. You blocked my straight flush outs. Oh, oh wow. No. Bottom That's two pair for the man on the right. And Zolotau just two okay. cards away from being eliminated. Yeah, looking for runner runner here. Should I start Give him a sweat, right? <laughs> Yeah. Nope. No sweat. Yeah. Instead, it's a full yeah. house <laughs> for David Goodman, the 32-year-old, eliminating yeah, Stevie Z. <laughs> okay, gentlemen. Play well. Have fun. Thank you. That's fine with Good you. game. Does ICM matter to them? I know, I'm sure it does, but is the bracelet what you want? Oh, looks like... Oh, wait a second. Good. All in a call. Yeah. Well, hold oh. up on that answer once again. There's a 10. Neither player with a spade in their hand, so spades are irrelevant. Only an eight will eliminate that man right there. Could have been looking for the two outer to get heads up. Four, that is six, not a friend. 25. That is not a, an eight. A two of hearts on the river. And yeah. Saber with the full double up to nine and a half million. Goodman still the chip leader, but now on 10.1 million. Farahi, our Two, short four, stack five, on 6.7. Thomas, Thomas? Thomas? Yeah. yeah. Well, Russell and he, uh, friends since that main event final table, and very good friends. Uh, Jesse lives in Las Vegas right now with his uh, longtime girlfriend, Ashley, who also is a great poker player oh, in her yeah, own right. She's great. How about trip deuces for Farahi and top pair for Seaver? A little bit of a setup. <laughs> yeah. Dial up some pain, and we're going to get it here. This is uh, very unfortunate if you are a Scott Seaver fan, but if you're rooting for Farahi, as some of those players in the stands are, they'll be very happy with this one. Bet 900. Doesn't really bring many draws either, right? No, and you don't expect Farahi to float so light anyways on a King Deuce Deuce flop that Let's see what the river you know, he's going to turn a ton of backdoor oh. equity either way. Saber wants to see the river. Oh, wow. Well, this is just unfair. I mean, yeah, if you had kicker problems now, you've bowed it up. And uh, it's really hard to make quads. So why shouldn't Saber feel like he has the best of it? What would he do with a king? <laughs> I, th I think he would just, he would bet like half pot or something and leave himself, you know, like three, two and a half million back. But knuckle back king's pre-flop <laughs> and now has like king's full of deuces. Oh. Yeah, no. I know, I know. Look, so, yeah, I know. So fucking annoying. Oh. All in. All in. There's the all in from Goodman. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, well. I was wondering if <laughs> I was wondering if the fives were going to go all in, but Seavers picked up queens. Yeah, so we will have a player all in and called, and we will see all in. if uh, they can Seaver double moves up. all in. Fives go in the muck. Queens versus Ace Ten, Ten. and Goodman's tournament life on the line. And it was Seaver whose tournament Queen life was on the line. Ten. It was Goodman versus Seaver just uh, maybe 30 Ten. minutes ago. 
queen eight deuce, two diamonds out there. Seaver's got the queen of diamonds. Seven of hearts does not help. Goodman down to his last card. Looking for the ace on the river. Jack of hearts. Yeah. And we are heads up. Really good play. You, you played great. Man. Thank you. You played Thank really you so well. Much. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Like, you played soul. great. <laughs> you played great, dude. Yeah, good game, man. Thanks, man. All in. And that's what all he does. In. All in. There's the call. And you can see when he gets snap called, he knows he's behind. Need an ace. All spades, not a good flop at all for Alexander Farah. He was now down to either ace of hearts or the ace of clubs. Five of diamonds on the turn. Seaver just one card away from winning his fourth ever World Series of Poker bracelet. Three of hearts and it's over. It's again, man. Great game. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Sigh of relief, and there's a champion. The thumbs up. Event number three goes to Scott Seaver. He'll earn $320,000 and his fourth World Series of Poker bracelet. Take a look at our Storm X final result. Scott Seaver, $320,000. Feels like uh, days ago when we saw Nick Schulman and Sergio Ido and Steve Zolotow. And uh, what a final table it has been. 752 players entered this tournament. When it was all said and done, Scott Seaver, our champion. Don't forget, tomorrow we are back at it. The 25K No Limit Hold'em Heads Up will be here starting at 8 p.m. Pacific time. We'll have both semifinal matchups for you and then the finals. Scott Seaver, the big smile on his face. A deserved champion. And a lot of fun for us to watch for sure. Maria, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in the booth as always. I was happy to be here. I hope I get to do this again with you soon, Tuck. And hopefully we'll be commentating on you. We will see you tomorrow. For everybody here at the World Series and Poker Go and Maria Ho, I'm David Tuckman. Goodbye and good night.